Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is lesson 1 of Windows 8.1 for beginners. This is going to be a series of videos to help newbies and people that have never used or just don't understand the Windows 8 interface to use it well and to help step by step in learning all the new features of Windows 8.1. First of all, what is Windows 8.1? It's a upgrade to Windows 8. It is more than just a service pack. It is really a full new version of Windows 8. And it's been available f since the month of October 2013. What is Windows 8 for those that never use the interface? It's basically a radically new operating system. It's very different from what you've seen in the past. You might have used Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. Windows 8 is a operating system that will try and is really trying hard to push touch interface on the PC computer. Now touch interfaces are not always the good idea in certain cases, for example, a desktop computer with a touch interface is not necessarily that much fun, uh, but a tablet computer might be interesting. And that's why Windows 8 offers both worlds. It offers a way of using the touch screen if you have a tablet or a touch device, but it also offers a mouse operating system like you had in the old Windows days. So you can use a mouse and keyboard like you did before. It does feature a desktop tile, which is basically a tile or an application to look more like the old time Windows if you're using old computer programs, for example, or software that do not support the new interface. Now, the new Windows 8 operating system has a new type of software that can be installed on it, and it's called Apps. You have the possibility to install old software, but you now have the possibility to install Apps, which is something that is brand new to the Windows world. People that have a Windows phone, or maybe an iPad, or an iPhone, or an Android phone, or tablet know that apps are little pieces of software that install in the operating system and Windows 8.1 uses that new type of interface of installing apps. The push to apps is natural and it's actually a good idea because it's much easier to install apps in Windows than it was to install programs in the past. There's no a million questions to answer. There's no uh, follow this and next and pressing um, many clicks on your mouse before the uh, software is installed. So it's an interesting way of installing software and actually the easiest way possible in Windows. How do you get Windows 8.1? That is the first question because this series will focus on 8.1 and will not focus on Windows 8. Even though some of the videos are going to show you some features that are also Windows 8, it is best to upgrade to Windows 8.1. And why should you upgrade to Windows 8.1? Well, first of all, it's free. So if you already own Windows 8, you can get it free of charge. And it's a great, great upgrade. It does make life a little easier on people that actually don't have any touch devices and it reintroduces a uh, missed feature of Windows 8 which is a little start button that alternates between a start menu and a desktop. If you don't have Windows 8.1 where do you go? You go on your Windows Microsoft Store and when you click there you should see a purple tile on the left side of your screen with Windows 8.1 upgrade available and you just click on it and click the install button and wait for the install to progress. 
If you want to see how to install it yourself, we have a series of videos already online on this official Windows 8 channel where you will see step by step how to upgrade your machine. Windows 8.1 upgrade is quite easy. I don't think you will need the help of anyone. Uh, just follow along. There's very few questions that are asked and basically it will use most of the settings that are already in your Windows 8 computer. The install time for Windows 8.1 ranges from about 20 minutes on some really fast devices like the Surface Pro for example to about an hour, an hour and a half on uh, desktops and laptops. Uh, the time depends on many factors but it depends first of all on the speed of your machine but it will also depend on the number of programs and apps that you already have installed in your computer. The more apps you have installed in Windows 8 the longer the upgrade will take. Hopefully you will do that upgrade and join us in that Windows 8.1 universe with your computer, tablet or desktop. So to follow along with us, uh, I suggest that you subscribe to the official Windows 8 channel so that you'll be notified every time new videos are online and you'll see that the official lessons for Windows 8.1 for beginners will show up every week. We will try to put at least one lesson a week, probably more when time permits, and hopefully you'll be able to learn how to use Windows 8.1 and become an expert. If you have any comments or questions along the way, please feel free to ask away and we'll try to answer questions if possible. And of course, hopefully, if you have that new Windows 8 machine, you already know our channel, the official Windows 8. Hundreds of videos already showing you how to do just about anything and how to troubleshoot some of the common problems that we see in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. So thanks for watching and hope that you will follow along on the different lessons of Windows 8.1 on this channel. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.